I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today's fun fact of the day has to do with our senses. Did you know that we have more than five senses? We all know the five senses, and these are the things that we were taught in school: the sense of taste, the sense of sight, smell, touch, and hearing. We are taught that these are the senses that we use to navigate the world around us. We move through the world using our sight, which, as humans, is the most important of all. We have binocular vision, which means we can gauge distances and throw stones accurately, and can tell the difference between light shades of green to identify food. But there is far more at play here. A few senses that we were not taught, but experience these senses every day, like the sense of balance, the sense of temperature, the sense of pain, the sense of proprioception, sense of time. Not just that, but we often realize that when someone is staring at us, what sense could that be? Hence, depending on who you ask, our list of senses is growing and growing. So we are replete with different senses that we have yet to eventually or discover or at least put a name to. However, we get by with our main senses for now. If one of the senses gets taken away, we feel so out of place and so imbalanced. Like ask a COVID patient who has lost their sense of smell or taste. It's very weird for them. But what is interesting is that we are constantly being bombarded with information from these senses. This information just washes across us. We do not appreciate or even acknowledge it from time to time. We use our senses either one at a time, or continuously, or in pairs. Watching TV is visual and auditory. Listening to a podcast is only auditory. In fact, most of our life takes place only in two senses. The only time we are actively using all five senses is probably when we are eating food. We can see the food. Smell the food, taste the food, touch the food, and even hear the food, which is why we like crunchy food so much. It plays with all five senses, and this is probably why we enjoy food so much. It utilizes all these senses and plays around with them. Using these senses excites us, and we are clearly craving for that stimulation. Imagine if we could use these senses to meditate. Normally, we are told to sit in a quiet room with no noise. Make sure you dim the lights, sit comfortably, etc., etc. No distractions. But realistically, finding a place like that to meditate is impossible. And trust me, when I say this, I have tried going to the mountains to sit and meditate, and there is always dhamal or something to distract you. Instead, I want to share with you a very simple meditation that you can do in the most crowded environment, in the busiest of places. This meditation is not about removing distractions, but welcoming them in. The key is sense the distraction without passing a judgment. So imagine you're sitting in a crowded train, and if you are in Mumbai, you're possibly standing. I want you to first close your eyes. And then open them just partially till you can see the world around you. Leave that tiny slit open. This gives you the opportunity to see without looking. This technique itself is so profound. Just see without looking for something in particular. Next, I want you to feel a texture. Either rub the fabric of your pants or your shirt or the smooth metal handle that you're holding on to. Keep rubbing and feeling that texture. Then take in the sounds, people talking, the wind rushing, the tracks underneath. Take it all in. Don't listen or try to hear what people are saying. It's almost as if it's in the background. Noise and not communication. Then take in the smells. Now this might be an interesting experience. You might suddenly become aware of bad smells, or then somebody's perfume. The idea is not to fixate on the smells or pass judgment on someone's body odor. It is about finding the smells and having them come and having them go. Each station might have its own unique smell. Remember, no analyzing, 
no judgment finally the sense of taste focus on your mouth roll your tongue around and see what is the taste of your mouth does it have a taste don't go thinking about your breath or if you ate onions just observe it now take all five senses in at the same time it will take a little practice you have to keep doing it over and over again what this does is it elevates your sense of consciousness you are now far more aware of your environment than you were before as you get better and better keep adding more senses to this so your simple habit starts by creating your desire to experiment with meditating in the noisiest of places simply leave your eyes partially open and begin to take in the five senses the key here is not to think about any one of them not to judge or try to recognize the sense just feel it you will soon be able to do this and bring a sense of calm to your body a sense of calm in the busiest of places filled with unrest so start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag the habit coach if you like this podcast don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the ivm network you can listen to us on the ivm podcast app or ivmpodcast.com you can also follow us on social media we are at ivm podcasts on twitter and instagram if you want to reach out to me i am ashtin doc on twitter and instagram you can find lots more information on my website awesome180.com or check out different content on my youtube channel called a w e s o m e 180 that's awesome180 i hope you enjoyed that show if you aren't following us on social media please do we're ivm podcast on twitter facebook and instagram Another fun week in the books last week and I think you guys should definitely check out some of the shows that we did. So first let me tell you about Cock and Bull. We did two Cock and Bulls on Cyrus says last week which is I don't think we've ever done before. But there was just so much to talk about and it was fun. Uh the first one was just on Trish myself and Cyrus. The second one we had Abhijit Ganguly on and that was a great episode. Do check that out. Check out Know Your Kanun as well. It's been a while since I spoke about that show, but Amber's been doing a great job on it. This week he spoke to Naina Sharma, a Canadian lawyer, about the ways that you do business in Canada and the challenges that that presents. Definitely very interesting stuff. Do check that out. The guys at Naan Curry are doing some really, really fun stuff. Do check out their latest episode. They talk about roti, the simple bread, but it's got some complications to it. Let them tell you about what they are. Do check that out. Also, do definitely check out the Wire Talks with Siddharth Bhatia. He's been killing it, man. It's just a new show, but what great conversations. This week, he had Siddharth Singh on to talk about pollution. Do check that out. And you know what, guys? The best news of all, Simplified is back They've been back for a few weeks and I haven't called them out before but remember that they're back and do check them out. This week they talk about does censorship make sense? Knowing the guys, I think I know the answer to that, but you should go check that out. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. Advertising is dead. Yep, you heard me right. Advertising is dead. We're all in the content business now. Let's not call it news, TV, radio, etc., etc. It's all content, and we're in the middle of this weirdly exciting phase where all the borders and lines that have been drawn over decades has been swept away by this lovely thing called the internet. We're a show where we don't dwell on just the stuff that is now, but rather the wider stuff about advertising, media, content, and the whole goddamn circus surrounding it. Tune in every Tuesday for our weekly unboxing of the mystery box we used to call advertising. I'm Varun Dugirala, co-founder and content chief at The Glitch, and this is my new podcast, Advertising is Dead. <laughs> 